I'm just a regular, everyday, normal guy. My parents are really nice people, motherfucker. I'm just a regular, everyday, normal guy. I'm somewhat afraid of heights, motherfucker. I'm just a regular, everyday, normal guy. Hey, what's up, people? I'm Dries. We're here to play some Tropical 4. Um, fourth time I'm recording this freaking introduction because every time the game minimized, it crashes. I can't go back in. Which is probably because my crappy computer. It's really annoying. But well, basically, this game I got it off from Steam 7. It's you're the president of an island and you do whatever the fuck you want on that island. Except go bankrupt, but you know, except for that, you can do whatever you want. Looks like a funny game. Since it's uh, not a good computer, um, well, the graphics aren't gonna be that good, but don't worry, it can be better. Well, again, I'd be a farmer. <laughs> so I'm gonna go again through the tutorial for like the fucking third time. I'm gonna like skip the conversation. I'm gonna, it's gonna basically say shit like, uh, here's how to explore your island and move around, blah blah blah. I'm gonna go maniac or crazy. The music is really good though. Yeah, the game got an 8.5 out of uh, 10 on IGN.com. So I know you are here to kill me, shoot coward, you're only going to kill a man. So I mean, it's not that bad. Now it's loading very slow for some reason. Well then, if you say it that way... I really don't know what the fuck is going on. I think I'm just gonna cut the video and whenever it's back in I'll just keep on recording. Alright, we're back in, blah blah blah. So the guy's just like, I'm gonna show you how to um, rule your island and move around your island. Blah blah blah. And then the tutorial is gonna be like, well here how you use a camera and here how you use that thing and says that some people will ask you to do some task and you just click on it and it's going to show you what they want and then it says that you have to rebel you have to blah 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 you have to like um oh happiness from island population oh that's nice that's the map uh, yeah so you have to like repel rebels attacks and things like that oh uh, it's going to ask you to go around the island and it's gonna say something like zoom in as close as possible. First, I'm gonna change my graphics, see if they're okay. They're yeah, okay, they're nice. Alright. Close. Running the game really slow, so. 20 frames per second, not that bad. It's around what I'm doing when I play StarCraft, anyway. When I get my good computer, it's gonna be awesome. Then he wants me to turn around, you press Alt and you move your mouse. And then if you want to look for the camera, blah blah blah. Okay, the buttons below the minimap control the flow of time, so that's to make it super fast. As you can see I'm losing money. Because it's a fucking shanty town. Well then amigo, now you can examine the buildings on the island in peace. If I click on it, sweatshop construction. It shows all the important information for this building. From here, you can set wages and fees, change work modes, fire workers, hire foreign specialists, etc. I will explain these action later. It can be a detailed description of the selected building by clicking on the. Without this building, nothing else will ever get built. <laughs> the Tropican Secret Police. <laughs> okay. As with the Teamster office, you'll start with one construction office already available. Plan or link more of these so that large projects are completed faster. Each construction office employs up to eight constructors to work on your building project. Okay. 
So I got five workers. No, I got eight workers. Set wage for all builders, set wage for all un uneducated builders. Well, they're uneducated. I don't want them to get paid a lot. Why isn't there anything? I think I can't right now. Okay. This is a panel. I have a skeleton shack. Click on the topmost four icon change information tabs. The five icon action icons allow you to issue orders that affect only the selected citizens, such as arrest or bribe. Okay. Constructing new buildings is very important, amigo. It is the main method to <laughs> goals and tasks. Let's construct a new logging camp on your island. Okay, right click anywhere on the viewer to open up the build menu. Choose the food and resource category, then select the logging camp. <laughs> I love how I can arrest anyone I want, just for no reason. I'm just gonna arrest people. Oh, it's, it costs a thousand though. Okay. Cathedral or diamond, cathedral. Heretic. The clergy would declare this is a heretic. <laughs> he will not be able to take part in protests, be made a faction leader, or run for election. The respect of the citizen and his family will be lowered. When <laughs> 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 the military family and any bystander will be outraged, and the respect towards it will be lowered. Arrange accident. Your secret police can <laughs> arrange an accident for the citizen and lighting it. Because of the covered meta views, no respect will be lost. <laughs> Already like this game. <laughs> uh, okay, build a logging camp. Food and resources, logging camp. Oh well, that's pretty nice. Okay, so that's uh, that shows where I can't build it. So I can't do shit over here, I guess. There's a road. No, oh, I can't on red, but why not? I don't know why I can't put it on red. What what does it mean? Oh, okay, so the time goes up because there's rough terrain. That's nice. Okay, now use the mouse wheel to turn it around. Well, that's chill. Well, that's really nice. Okay, so if I put it like one... I'm gonna put it like here because it's a tutorial. Well Presidente! Make sure that the game is not paused. So I have to... what do I have to do? Build a logging camp, okay. So I have to make it fast so people will actually gonna go... Oh look, I have like an elder in my village. I didn't know they have it on Xbox. Had I known I would have played on Xbox because I already got HD on my Xbox and all. But I don't want to pay twice for the same game, you know. Could be a little bit too much. And it's a lot pricier than the Xbox. On the Xbox, it's um. I'm playing the modern times. It's forty dollars. The ability to control time will be most useful. I also learn how to explore the item and how to view detailed information. I'm sure that one is twenty dollar. The one I have is twenty dollar. Oh, I wasn't listening. Turn us the most in town was impressed by my skill. He even said that in a few years I would be running the Caribbean. I was amazed uh, by the terrible powers the President he has at his disposal. But the control time would be most useful. Also learn how to explore the island, how to blah 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 blah. Okay. I got 
under capitalism man exploits man under communists it's just the opposite <laughs> all right making money Generalissimo Santana says that it is imperative to learn how to make money from my island. The Generalissimo explained that he will teach me how to manage optional tasks, how to make money at the beginning of my run, and how to develop industry later on. Production and transportation are the basics of an island's economy. Understanding production chains, workers, wages, and job slots. And that one get out. Details. And the news. Finally, I will have to acquaint myself with international trade and foreign imports. Okay. Um. Just going to finally I will have to acquaint myself with international trade. Alright, let's go do the next tutorial. Which is going to be making money. All within the state, nothing outside the well, I didn't see it. Welcome back, my friend. As you know, there's only one thing that makes the world go round. Money. Sweet, shiny, beautiful money. You want to know how to make more money? Sure, you take a video of the island and see what exciting new prospect it presents. Occasionally, new optional tasks will arrive on your island. Such events are marked with a large exclamation point icon. Well, well it's, it's uh, visual. <laughs> Simply clearing the exclamation mark details such as... That's not what I wanted. Except, um, optional tasks. Okay. Well done, Presidente. Optional tasks give you a chance to earn a reward if you complete them. Accept the task to add it to your objectives. Okay. Explore your island to find more opportunities. Complete all of them to win this scenario. Accept this time with the accept button. Accept. Oh shit. Teamster. Production doesn't magically turn into money, amigo. The teamsters transport all resources between your buildings. The teamsters visit resource production building take to produce good. Then they deliver the goods to the docks to be sold or to buildings that need the resources such as industry buildings. Teamsters use roads and garage to travel faster. It is important to have a good road network in order to optimize resource transportation. We always start a single teamsters office. As your island grows, you will need more teamsters. Construct teamsters office and garage to increase the number of teamsters. Okay. to dirty your hands to construct new buildings. There are special people for that. Each time you place a new building, the available builders will be dispatched from the construction office to the construction site. Usually, it takes several builders to finish a single construction. Okay, if the construction progress on your island is going slow, you should consider building a new construction office. Also, make sure that all work slots in your construction offices... Offices... yeah are filled by increasing the builder's wage. <laughs> okay, sure. Farming is cheap. Farming oh. is a cheap and efficient way to make money in the early years of your rule. <laughs> Farm can grow a variety of crops to bait with sugar and coffee. Or cash crops that bring in the most profits. Corn, bananas, pineapples and papaya are less profitable, but they provide food for your citizens. Okay. Build a farm, try placing it, placing it on fertile land, indicating green during placement. Oh. oh, I already read that. That's how you do it. Farm. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so whenever you try to build something... Um, that's nice. Is that a bad spot or what? Because I don't have like a lot of green. I have one there.
Ooh, can I put it here? I guess so, fuck it. Go. Cool. Well, I got more objective over here. Workers are the driving force of our economy. They sweat and toil to produce the goods we sell on the international market. There, be, there seem to be some kind of problem with one of your fishermen warriors. The symbol above it means that there are no workers. Select the fisherman wife by clicking on the building. Except. Okay. Oh, oh no, this place is empty. This place is empty. There's no one to catch fish. Increase the wage of the fisherman wife to attract new workers. Okay. To do so, move the wage slider to, into the in the building's info panel. Increase your wage and fill all work slot in the wharf. This may take some time. You may want to increase the game speed. Okay. There we go. Come on, guys. Awesome. Now that the wharf is working, let's take a look at the cannery. Cannery. The cannery can process fish into canned fish and sell it at a greater export price. Select the cannery. This place is overstaffed. How do they know it's overstaffed, though? Since you only have one wharf, the input storage of the cannery will be mostly empty. Okay. The factory workers have no raw resources they can produce, but still get paid to sit around and do nothing. <laughs> Probably half of the workers in the cannery. Fuck <laughs> you guys. How do I do that? Do I just click? Do I just click on it? No. What do I do? Oh, I just left click. Could not close the empty workspace to prevent people from taking the new open job position. Right click on an empty work spot to prevent workers from filling it. Alright. Awesome. Nobody gets here. Managing your workforce will maximize your profits and minimize expenses. Remember to keep an eye on the workers in your building. A fully staffed building produces significantly more exports. On the other hand, employing a full staff in a factory that doesn't receive enough raw resources will only increase your expenses. Okay. It's a very complex game. Good work. The farm. Oh, my farm is done. The farmers will come to work and plant the crops. Then the crops must grow and finally the farmers must harvest the crops and deliver the product to the farm. Okay, from there your teamsters will transport the product to the docks where it will be sold when the ship arrives. You can change the crops a farm grows at any time. Your island will usually have a couple of farms built when you take office. Why don't you switch one of them to sugar production? Yeah, fuck the bananas. I'm getting sugar, baby. I wish I could get the... Um... Why is it there? I asked for a farm over there. Sugar? Oh, look, there's like areas for better producing. That's nice. Corn everywhere. <laughs> I have a farm at the very end of the world, though. Well done, friends. Now your farmers will start growing and producing sugar. Okay, as you can see, growing crops takes time. The first crops may take up to several years to produce. In the meantime, you can turn your attention to other tasks. Remember, you can always speed up time by clicking on the speed control. I don't know how fast it goes, though. I love how I'm 1950. Uneducated. Okay. What do I do now? What the fuck are those arrows? I don't care about you. Okay, what's up over here? Oh. About your financial state can be found in the almanac. Open the almanac by clicking on the icon above your minimap. Alright. <laughs> I shall do that. Generalissimo Santana. Accept. Almanac.
economy. So, I'm losing. Well done, You're not making much profit. That's nice. It's like prison architect, except well, I have an island and a lot more shit to do. So I'm losing money, am I? I think so. Mining, logging. Yeah, I'm losing money. I'm not making any money. Mining. Mines provide excellent profit early in the game. It is best to build mines close to the corresponding resource. Bauxite. Iron, gold, bauxite, or salt. Okay, select the mine from the build menu and look around the island for gold deposits, yellow color. Place the mine in the vicinity of that deposit, the minimap will help you look at the deposit. Build a mine near gold deposit, accept. Awesome. The fuck do you know this gold over there? Oh, okay, that's nice. Is there any more? Oh fuck, I can't zoom out. Oh yeah, there's a... Uh Okay, there are some other. That's iron. Oh, the red is probably bauxite, and that's cool. Awesome. Right there. Excellent, Presidente. To ensure that your okay, I need road. The mine taste, you need to build a road to the mine. Ensure fast can use road to get to their current project. You should always control the road from the construction office to construction sites. Build a road that connects to the mine with your city. You can select roads from the French exit tab in the menu. For structure road. Oh look, that's so nice. But So cool. Okay, okay, I don't want more. How do I? Okay, cool. Okay. I guess that's fine. Oh, the road is uh, is insta built. Okay. Or maybe not. Oh, see? That works. Awesome. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's calm the fuck down. Aha! Workers use garages to travel between their workplace and homes. Some buildings like the mine have their own garages. Oh, that's nice. So, infrastructure, garages. <laughs> I love how the, um thing is uh done the road is done automatically. Let's go work harder, bunch of bitches. Is my mind done? Nope. Well how it's they were like working, they're like Yeah man, I'm building shit. Look at that. The mine is done. <laughs> There's no worker though. Go work harder, bunch of dicks. All metals. Gold. Right click to disable the slot, left click to hire. We need uneducated workers to operate this facility. We are for Rainer for hundred dollar, but the price will increase as we hire more people. No, there is no need. Okay. Where are the other um, objective? Oh, I got two. One. Some idiot has 
built a furniture factory on your island without supplying it with the resources it needs. The icon above the furniture factory shows that the factory has no input resources. Never fear, we can import the lumber from abroad. Select the furniture factory. Okay. You can import the resource you lack for your industry. Naturally, you will have to pay for the imported goods. Each time a ship arrives on your island, it will bring you the requested imports and bill you for them. Use the speed controls below the minimap to increase the game scene wait until ship arrives, okay. Mm. Oh. Okay, hello imports. Let's go. I love how I can like put it close. I don't want anyone. High school. To a gym. What about this? Once you have your basic economy going, it is best to think about investing in industry. Build a jewelry factory to process the gold from the mine into the much more expensive jewelry resource. Okay, I'll build a jewelry. Jewelry factory, you need blueprints to get to build a petition building one to action until the end of the mission. The Academy of Science, blueprint factory will cost you, do you want, yeah, okay, sure. I can't do chemical plants, why? Oh, I need electricity, I don't have electricity. I don't have electricity with a lot of my things. <laughs> Go guys. I have road, but I have like crappy road. Can I make more different kind of roads? I'm just curious if I can like How do I upgrade it to a better road? See, that makes it a road. That makes like a normal road, which is weird. Super road. Okay, so what I was doing? Oh yeah, hello in ports and wait for the freighter. Let's go, give me some shit. Awesome, did we? The trade page of the Overlap provides detailed information about exports and imports. You can view the commodity price of each individual resource from there as well. That's nice. Trade. Export profits ten thousand. Your island is currently importing tobacco, which it doesn't need. You can stop the import from the Almanac trade page. Select the trade overview and we culture and livestock on the left page by clicking on it. After that click on the tobacco resource. Stop the import of tobacco. Okay. No more tobacco. Forbidden imports. Well done. No more unnecessary tobacco will be delivered to our island. So I can stop and allow whatever I want on my island. That's nice. Oh, I export. It says to who I export coffee to the U.S. And I can import some from Middle East, but Europe, Middle East, USSR, <laughs> China. And is that does that mean I'm getting influence? So I'm waiting on the factory. Or the jewelry, I mean. Well, people are 40% happy, so it's not that bad. I don't know if the island is always going to be like that or if it's going to change.
Yay! Oh, it's making a road automatically. This be. Now the teamsters will carry the gold produced by your mine to the jewelry factory, where it will be processed further. Can make piles of money from the industry, but factories are expensive and require educated workers. It's best to build industry later on after you establish your basic economy. Okay. Job well done, President. Managing the economy of an entire island is no simple task. I'll scribe down what I've learned from Generalissimo Santana. I have to remember to develop the natural resources. Farm, mines, and logging camps. Farms, mines, and logging camps. Focus on the most lucrative exports. Roads and garages will maximize the infrastructure. <laughs> I love how I have like a Swiss bank account. Once I have secured a steady income, I must start cash crops for even greater profits. Okay, well that's not that bad. So this is gonna be it for uh, now. That was Tropico 4. Now the guy is gonna talk. And, Can't do anything without money to pay for it. and yeah, um, just gonna wait. To learn how to make money from my Back. Awesome. That was pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll keep on playing because it seemed like an interesting game and really more complex than I, I thought it was. But uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to be part of the people. See ya. Y'all better recognize, motherfuckers, cause me, I started as a baby, a tiny little baby. Now look at me, uh, now look at me. I started as a baby, a tiny little baby. Now look at me. Now look at me When everybody look at me Yo, they can tell that I'm a grown-up Six foot one, facial hair with a coffee cup People say, yeah, what's up? When they see me on the block